Is this a real or a fake gemstone? Go ahead and put your best guess in the comments and I'm gonna show you how a gemologist figures out what this is. This gem has really strong color and a super unusual cut, so let's start testing. First off, we're gonna use the refractometer to measure how this gem bends light. Going in, it looks like we're around a 1.77 or so, and that's exactly what we wanna see for Ruby, so let's keep going. With polarized light, we're getting a great blink, which you can really see when I spin the gem. And that means there's no way this can be glass or plastic. Plus, with UV light, we're getting a very bright red glow, a reaction you sometimes see with rubies. So all of our tests are pointing to this being a ruby, but is it natural or synthetic? We need the microscope to know for sure. I'm not seeing any major inclusions. However, I do see something very important that you might recognize. Do you see it? Over here, we have something called curved striae, which is a telltale sign of a synthetic gemstone. And why is that? I can show you. Before this ruby was cut, it came from a synthetic ruby bool that looks like this. Unlike natural ruby crystals, a synthetic ruby bool has this circular growth pattern that you can see here. So when a gem is cut from a synthetic bull like this, we can often use the microscope to find these slightly curved growth lines called curved striae. And of course, that means this gem is 100% a synthetic ruby. So did you get this one right?